Hello, everybody. I'm Molder West, and this is Dishonored 2 once again. Dishonored 2 Death of the Outsider once again. Because we already finished the base game. Now, let's see. There may be somebody in here. Ah, yes, there is. We got some people patrolling up there. And that ain't good for me. I need these people to not Greetings, be here. Daughter. Sister Rosewyn requests your presence on the terrace. It's about the heretic archive. She wants you to take it. <laughs> yes, yes, very good. Tell Sister Rosewyn I'll be right there. Well then, finish one little test first before this creature's flesh degrades further. They must send word to Whiteford as soon as our task is curvature is eroded. You shall not be telling Rosewyn anything. It's as the stricture says: the errant mind becomes fractious. So while you're busy napping away down here, we'll go and take care of that dude. And then we'll go after Sister Rosewyn, who likely has the thing that I'm after. Decidedly abnormal. Where does the seat of heresy lie? Which wayward organ compels these wretched creatures to seek the void? How about you shut the hell up and quit studying a dead lady? Bet they'd love to cut me open, too. Wouldn't surprise me. You go ahead, just lay there napping. And when you wake up, you can get back to dissecting your witches. And I'll just steal that copper wiring. A sweet ten monies. That's good. Now, Rosewyn, do you happen to be carrying those documents I'm after? Or... Hold on a moment. I seem to be forgetting that I have the ability to yank people's faces. Well, I'll just take that. All right. And then, if the, that thing she has is the document I'm after, then she'll just hand it over to me and that'll be it. Brother Cardoz, at last, I've concluded my study of the hidden archive, especially yes. this silver graph plate. A mm -hmm. silver graph plate? What did you find out? Is there something special about it? It is an abomination. Darkness clings to it. We must destroy it, lest it fall into less righteous hands. Show it to no one, and burn its heretical stain from the world. You and got it. it. All right. I got that thing. And now... Look at this with a silver graph projector. Yeah. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. Yes, yes it will. So now that we've got that, we just need to make our way to a projector. Unfortunately, we don't have a projector in our nice little hideout. So we gotta use one in here that's crawling with overseers and oracular sisters. So how would I get over there? Eh... Is it on the floor above? Ah, yes. It's in that room that is heavily guarded. That's just great. Fan-fucking-tastic is what that is. But... I can make use of it. I can get in there. I can just knock some dudes around and... Steal their stuff and things and use the projector that they were sitting there staring at. I mean, what are they doing? Fucking overseer work, banishing corruption from the world, that sort of schmidt. I won't allow that to happen. I like the corrupt world just the way it is. Now, how would we do this? Uh -huh. What do we have here? Yes, a projector. There's three overseers in here, and one in there. So, first, I'll take care of the loner, 
Ah, uh, I see you are patrolling. That doesn't bode well for me. Or maybe it does. So while you're over here doing this, I can just make you take a nice little nappy bye bye And then I'll just stash you under the table. Good. Perfect. And... Gotta get those dudes out of there. The roots of heresy run rampant and deep here. Hmm. The High Overseer will want a thorough inventory of every profane item. Well, you go ahead and have fun with your profane items while I cause a distraction. What's going on? Did Shit, you what hear was that? someone over there? I just need to make sure. Now, I've got one shocky flies, bullet maybe? left. I hope not. So. Is asking for trouble over there. Huh? All right, then. I think I'll put this last shot to use on it. you. <laughs> Nothing here. Let's have a look around. Yep, nothing at all. So while you're over there doing that, I'm gonna just pop in behind you. Uh-oh. You over there. All right, then. Poof. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. I'm gone. Later, bitches. By the void, indeed. So while you gonna go around over there and thinking I'm in there, you are wrong. Ah, that can be a problem. I'll just have to knock you out quickly. All right, and gone. Ha ha! Batman, you know nothing. Now, did I lose the mark on one of those two? Yeah, I don't have a mark on you. Shame on you. Heresy on me. You ain't smelling nothing because you're about to be sleeping. You can't smell anything while you sleep. And... Oh, uh, look at you, killing your friends. Oops. Well, that was a case of Butterfingers hitting the wrong damn button. So, as for you... Wait, did you just wake up from underneath the table? Go back to sleep! Okay. Okay, no, that was a different guy. That went very well. Sorry about stabbing you, mister. I was trying to knock you out, but I hit the wrong button. And you can never get away with an excuse like that in the real world. There just walk up to somebody, deck them in the schnoz. Look, oh, quad. sorry, I hit the wrong button. That's where the eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the silver graph plate with me. Yeah, I can't have somebody getting a hold of that and figuring out where I'm going. So, got the information we were after. Accidentally killed a dude. And now it's time to move it along. And get the hell up on out of here. So there shouldn't be any more trouble. All I need to do is make my way back to where I came in from over there. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, there's the sleepy time thing. I hesitate to call this a balcony again because it doesn't look like much of a balcony. It's just a nice place for people to hit, take a quick nap on top of their friends. The best kind of nap, if you ask me. Now, up we go, and out of the place we are in currently, which is through this window, and then across this thing over here, and then we just jump on back to me outpost and we are good. Of course, we got a bit of a way to go, and there might be some guards in the streets that I gotta watch out for. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And it looks like we're about to come to that bridge right now. So, this bridge can be easily crossed with the right tricks. And... Well, if it isn't that bridge I said we would cross when we came to it. Looks like we came to it, didn't we? 
And I don't think there's any more people out here. I already knocked out all the dudes that was patrolling. So we's good. All good and love and war. All is good even if it's not love, even if it's not war. It's good. Ain't nothing to it but being good. Up we go. Into the outposts. And come to think of it, this might be the room where I stashed a certain sleepy dude. Yes, I think this is where I left Paolo when I was doing the mission as Corvo, or maybe it was the Overseer Burn. Either way, onward! Lethality, killed two, bullshit, that dude killed his friend and then I killed him to avenge that killed friend. He shouldn't have attacked me, that's all there is to it. And we're gone. A hole in the world. The silver graph plate you recovered from the Royal Conservatory points to a secret location far away in the mountains near Shindari Peak. Once you're there, find an entrance to the void and eliminate the outsider. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void. But tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. Yeah. This is the place. Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real. At least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. We have uncovered the world most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever God came before my time. Hmm. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them. They had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place, their minds snared up with terrible secrets, keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Yeah, I do have a choice. And that choice is to figure out exactly what the outsider's name everyone? is. I hate this place already. And use that to 
end the whole thing without killing him, which I plan to do. Kill the outsider or find another way. It says reach the mines, of course. That is what we must do first. So if we can get there, we won't have anything else to worry about. There's a few wolfhounds here, but I ain't worried about them. I got a bone charm on that makes it to where they can't smell me. And that bone charm is called deodorant. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Just a little bit of roll on and you're good. Them hounds will not recognize my stank. Of course, that deodorant is made of bones and dark magic. Miner's letter, don't want to read. Eat this old spoiled bread. And now I just need to figure out a way of getting to the actual frickin' mine. Hmm. Perhaps if I go over here. Nope, that's just a dead end. Well, shit. Where, oh where, would they put the entrance to the mine? Perhaps right through the damn street? Nah, that's too easy. Let's go this way. Not in there, though, because that's where I already was. Unless there's a way, yes, there might be a way to go up and out through the ceiling. Okay, never mind, that doesn't look like it. That just looked like a pile of stuff blocking a busted ceiling hole. And this doesn't look very helpful either. Well, shit, Biscuits. Yes, I'm a gonna drop down ya. Thar be a wolfy hound. And as you pass underneath me, take you out. There you go. Uh-oh. That hound all about to notice me. You had that coming and you know it. How will you find wisdom when you ignore the simplest tenets? Seek no solace in mundane things, cast aside distractions. Your little pets were distracting your gaze from the void. Where's the harm? I was just feeding the rats and talking to them. Like the lonely rat boy from the stories. We're not in the story. The void needs you. So you're over here shooting people for doing rat things. The stone grips more than your body. It takes over your mind and heart. This is our purpose, Antero. This is why we're here. What are they talking don't about? Fight the influence of the endless and empty. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't want to become like them. <sighs> don't worry. You won't. Now they said something about a stone. Why do they look like? What goes on here? Hmm. There's the mines the over that way. Warm. I can feel it through the fabric. Oh so boy, is that a combination lock on the gate? Oh. Hmm. Well, if we do have a combination lock, maybe one of these guys will have the a combination. I so much. My time and sleepy dead. time for you. And sleepy time for you. Alright. That's good. Give me your stuff. That's a bone charm. Huh. Well, shit. Our choices are find the combination or do this the old-fashioned way. And I know what my choice is. <laughs> But I'm probably gonna do that off camera because I'm all out of time for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me see you again in the next one. Goodbye.